Having faith in the guidance of the celestial powers above, we can align, realign ourselves confidently below here on this earth. There is a divine purpose of the interconnectedness that we have with everyone and everything. Yet we need to navigate our own individual paths to achieve a happiness, abundance, and contentment in life. The outer planets are like gurus or counselors who enlighten our paths. With the knowledge in hand, we can carve our own routes towards our individual goals. Now with the main planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto gone direct, we have gained enough clarity of thoughts and they gently woke us up to a new energy. With Uranus going direct on January 18, 2022 in sensual Taurus, it makes us realize the importance of self-care. We are bound to feel that spring in our life that awakens us to new possibilities. Uranus is here to teach us to detach in certain ways, for we need to adopt new attitudes and uproot ourselves from negative aspects that drained us. Thus, the altering moments of life will push us to do better and put us on the right path. As the life progresses, we must adapt to changing circumstances, alter our attitudes, beliefs, and actions. Life is a process, and our beliefs need to change in accordance to our awakenings. Rigidity and stubbornness needs to melt away, giving way to freshness in our life. Neptune starts its direct motion on 1st December 2021. This actually removes the veil from our eyes and we truly connect with our feelings, our core strength of the heart. On an inner level, there's a great deal of psychological and spiritual transformation. The level of self-confidence increases with these outer planets. I have endeavored to guide and prescribe for each zodiac as to how they could handle their lives in the coming year of 2022, starting their preparations from the month of December onwards. In one line, start the year 2022 afresh by learning the art of letting go and moving on with experience. Herald the year 2022 with bold decisions, be independent of thought, word and action. Charity begins at home. Responsibility towards your own happiness is of paramount importance. Create the life you want for yourself and experience how your world adapts to you. Be the master of your own life. Well, Libra, the year 2022 is an harbinger of happiness and good health for you. The two important planets which were stressing you out earlier are either going to be in harmonious aspect to you or would just leave you alone. Since health is going to be good this year around, so you could expect improvements in your personal and professional life as well. However, it's important for you to still keep a monitor over your energy levels till May 11th at least. Jupiter is positioned in your seventh house of love, hence your love life will be excellent and exciting, leading to serious relationships for those who are singles and for those who are already committed an exciting time. Pluto has been in your fourth house for 20 years or so. This has been transforming the whole family and home situations. During this time, you could have been a witness to many endings and beginnings. Though the trend of Pluto is still in the effect, uh, still in effect in the year ahead too, but family life seems much happier than ever. Saturn has been in your fifth house since the late 2020. This indicates a need to be determined and disciplined, not only for yourself, but also inculcating the same to the youngsters around you. You need to set some kind of limits and order. It is bound to be challenging and cannot be overdone. Yet it has to be applied in a balanced way. Neptune has been in the sixth house of health for many years and will be there for many more years to come. This transit shows that you're bound to go deeper into the laws of spiritual healing. Holistic healing is much suited to you now. The spiritual practices and aspects of physical health will be revealed. Since Uranus has been in your eighth house and is going to be positioned there for a few more years, this signals sexual experimentation. This is basically a good thing as long as you don't become destructive by overdoing it. The factors that will interest you this year from May 11th to October 29th and from December 21st onwards will be the fun and creativity, health and work, love and romance. So your personal transformation and occult studies, including foreign travel, philosophy, theology and higher learning will be experienced from August 20th onwards. 
as I had said earlier, that your health remains good the entire year around, yet until May 11, only one long-term planet, it will be in stressful alignment, so you just need to monitor your stresses and your fears. Avoid the tendency to magnify little things. Be careful of being on hypochondria. It is probably better to focus on healthy lifestyles and regimes than to over-focus on minor ailments. With Neptune as your health planet, you will respond very well to spiritual healing techniques. If you're feeling under the weather, try seeing a spiritual healer. Your fourth house has been a house of power for the past 20 or so years and is still prominent in the year ahead. Pluto has been occupying this house and the Pluto's job is to transform, to renew things through endings and beginnings. So 2022 marks the beginning for Pluto, who is getting ready to move out of this house and his job seems to be already done there. So most of you would be in a new home and family conditions. So before Pluto finally moves, you will experience a very healthy and happy home life and your emotions will be in a better state of mind. Pluto, which is also your financial planet, and his presence in the fourth house shows many, many things. You earn money through home, um, through home, and uh, you earn money from home through your family and family connections. There will be good family support. Your emotional life has been undergoing a detox for many years as well. And by now, it is much, much more pure, more clean than it has ever been. There is a lot of clarity and you will experience this year a transformation within your own self. In regards to your finances and career, even though your money house is not prominent, not a house of power, yet you will experience that finances will not be a problem in 2022. You will basically be content with things as they are and have no special need to make dramatic changes or to overly focus here. Pluto, your financial planet, has been in Capricorn and for decades now will remain there for the year ahead. The financial planet in Capricorn signals sound financial judgment. It gives a long-term perspective on wealth. You will have a good sense of what an investment will be worth many years down the road. You should take a methodical step-by-step -step approach to wealth. Think long-term and avoid being interested in the quick buck. You will be able to manage what you have efficiently done. This money management skills is perhaps just as important as increased earnings and you will be able to make good use be aware of your assets and work since the end of 2020 placement shows a fabulous job opportunity happening you could land your dream job even though this is not especially a strong career here yet your 10th house is basically status quo and content with whatever you've got or have since most of the long-term planets are in the night side, the bottom half of your chart indicating an year for cultivating emotional wellness and harmony and for dealing with your home and family issues. Your wellness and emotional harmony helps you succeed in your career. As benevolent Jupiter will enter your seventh house on May 11th. He will be there until October 29th. Then these root causes can only be dealt with spiritually. This is the realm of spiritual healing, spiritual disconnection from the source of life, the divine. That is the root cause of all diseases for all people. In the case of liberals, it's more prominent and more dramatic. There is nothing that your spirit cannot cure if you just allow it. And by getting connected to your spirit, half of the problems in life can be solved. Uranus, as I mentioned earlier, has been in your eighth house of regeneration for some years now, leading you to be experimental in all sexual matters. This has good points and its dangers to the good points are that everyone responds sexually in different ways. Everyone is wired up in a unique way. What pleasures one displeases another. There is no one way to enjoy sex. So the object is to learn about ourselves and our partners and see what works for us. This requires letting go of the rule books and experimenting in real life. This is how the real knowledge is attained. The changes here are also very real. Sometimes this experimentation can turn destructive if you overdo things and if your sex is not an act of love. So experiment by all means, but keep it 
constructive. Be realistic in all your approaches. Listen to the dictates of your heart. Do not overdo things. Be constructive and balanced. So stay blessed and have a great rewarding year ahead.